All right, we're going to get started here on our last lesson of the school year, and that is going to be lesson number eight. Uh, lesson number eight, we've kind of touched on a little bit. You had no idea that we were talking about them, um, but we have addressed them just a little bit, and that is solving systems of equations. And a system of equations, we're on page 38 of our workbook, a system of equations is a set of equations that all use the same set of variables. Solving a system of equations means finding one value for each of the variables in a way that makes all the equations true simultaneously. For example, this system has a solution C equals six, B equal, or T equals three, and Q equals nine. And they give you these three equations right there. Solving a system of equations is a lot like solving a mobile puzzle. In fact, the, this system of equations matches the mobile in number one. Can you see each equation that appears in the mobile? Okay, so here we have equals 24. So they're adding two, three triangles, so 3t, plus a circle, plus a square, equals 24. They split the 24 into 12 and 12. So they have two triangles plus a circle equals 12. And then the last one, they have a circle equals two triangles. Okay, so we, we want to know what a circle, triangle, and square equals, not necessarily looking at their answers up here. Okay. Um, so if um, it sometimes use a mobile and the key to write an algebraic equation for each description below. Okay. Um, so Let's look at this here, okay? Um, if two triangles equals a circle or a circle is half of this, we're gonna split this in half, so six and six. Um, so a circle is six. Uh, this would make a triangle three, okay? If this is three, three plus nine would equal the 12, okay? So we could solve it using a mobile or just the equations. As you move on in math, you will just look at these equations up here. Use the mobile and the key to write an algebraic equation for each description below. The shapes on the left strings balance the shapes on the right string. So two triangles plus a circle equals a square plus a triangle. All the shapes on the mobile together weigh 24 units. So we have three triangles plus a circle plus a square or Q equals 24. Okay, question four, they give this mobile. Excuse me. So 12, so you get six and six. We break six apart, that's three and three. So this pentagon is worth one, three, three. A heart is worth three. So this is one, this must be two. So that's two. Again, use a mobile to write an algebraic e equation for each description below. All the shapes hanging from the left beam balance all the shapes on the right beam. So I have four pentagons plus a kite equals three pentagons plus a heart. On the right beam, the shapes on the left string balance the shapes on the, um, so a heart equals three pentagons. I was just making sure we did that one right and we did. Okay. So we can use parts of the whole thing to create several equations. Write two different equations here on number seven that can be written from this mobile. Okay, so I can say here, 
that two butterflies equals butterfly plus two X's, okay? Or I could say the whole thing equals 16. So one, two, three, four butterflies plus two X plus a star equals 16. Write three different equations that can be written from this mobile. Okay, so I could say that these two things equal so two flowers plus X equals a triangle plus flower. Okay, I could say this one equals both sides. So flower plus triangle equals two X's plus a triangle. And I could say that this whole side equals this whole side. So I could say three flowers plus X plus triangle equals a flower plus two triangles plus two X's. So there's, and there's even more equations than that that we could write. Okay, coming up here at number nine, we saw one of these in the last lesson. This mobile balances, this one balances too. But I don't know that they balance each other, okay? So draw the right number of hearts to make this thing balanced. Okay, so here, these moons will cancel each other out. So a circle is two hearts. Okay, and how many moons? Draw the right number of hearts to make this balance. So how many moons? Okay, so I can cross these out. And I know that a circle is two hearts. So that gets rid of the circle. So a moon is three hearts. Okay. Draw the right number of circles to make this balanced. Okay. Um, So from here, I know that two hearts is a circle. So this one moon is one and a half circles. So two moons is going to be three circles. Okay, D, how many hearts will balance a moon plus a circle? Okay, which is right here, a moon plus a circle. Now I know a moon, I know a circle is two hearts and a moon is three hearts. So this must be five hearts. If a moon plus a circle equals 10, what do each of the shapes weigh? Okay, remember this equaled five hearts. So this is five hearts. So a heart must be two, okay? A moon is two, or a circle is two hearts, so two times two is four, and a moon is three hearts, so this would be six. All of that just came from these two little things right there. We can represent mobiles as a system of equations. Use the mobiles given in problem nine to complete the equations below. So I'm going to erase some of my marks on here. Okay, from the first mobile, we get a moon. A moon plus a circle equals two circles plus a heart. Uh, there are many good ways to solve for the mobile problem and many good ways to solve the system of equations. For example, you might recognize that these two equations both have a side that says M plus C. Okay, here's M plus C. From the second mobile, we get two hearts plus a moon equals a moon plus C. So there's your second moon plus C. Combine our combining our equations, we get, so we're going to kind of substitute, okay? We get 2C plus H, 2H plus M. Because these two were the same, these two have to be the same. We can rewrite this as 
Okay, so 2C, so it looks like they got rid of an H. So if I get rid of an H here, that's H plus M. When you see a system of equations, remember the kind of thing um, you use to solve mobile puzzles. Look for an expression that you can substitute in other places that might be helpful. And if you find a dead end, back up and try something else. Okay, problems 14 and 15 each present a system of equations. Figure out which mystery number puzzle, A or B, matches a system. Solve the system of equations. In each problem, each variable has to be different. Okay, so this is going to match one of these, and this one will match one, and then we need to solve it. Okay, x, y, x times y equals z. So different, different, different multiply. 2y, z, and so this one is a. Okay, so this is a. And then a times b equals b, b squared. Okay, and this one is b. Okay, so let's solve this one first here. Um, and each one is different, okay? So it looks like, okay, so we can just maybe plug in some numbers. If I plug in a one here, this plus this equals a star. But if I add three of these, I get a star. So maybe a one, one, one equals three. Well, then I can't add two things to get a three. Let's maybe make this a two, two, two. So this is six. Well, three plus three is six. To get six, I take two times three. Okay, so an X is two, a Y is three, and a Z is six. Now over here, Okay, remember we've, we've dealt with these multiplying to add. Okay, so two plus two is four and two times two is four. So this is two and two, so a heart must be one. So A is a one, B is a two and C is a four. Okay, so we've dealt with some of those systems before. Okay, so 16 through 19 here. Match, use a matching mobile below to help you solve the system. Okay, so we've got some mobiles here below. We're gonna match it up and solve. So I have two circles plus two. So this is the only one I think with two circles plus two equals three circles. And five circles plus two equals pentagon. So this is B. Let's go ahead and try to solve B. So these are going to cancel. A circle must be two. Okay, so I get two, four, six, and this is six. So a pentagon is 12. I'm just checking answers as we go here. Okay, 17. Two butterflies plus a star. No butterfly. So two butterflies plus a star equals a star plus a circle. A star plus a circle equals 22. So each one of these is 22. So this is 17. Or sorry, no. This is C. Okay, so 22. A star, they tell us, is 12. So 12. So this star is 12 and 12. So 22 minus 12 is 10. So that's five and five. So butterfly is five and a clover is 10. So 12, 10, and five. It's nice when they give you in the system one of the answers. Okay, S. So star plus two G equals four. A star plus two green equals four diamonds five stars 
plus a star plus two G. Okay, so this one is D, which means this one must be A. Okay, it says five stars is 40. Okay, so 40 divided by five is eight. So stars worth eight. So this is eight. This is 20 and 20. 20 divided by four is five. So diamonds worth five. 20 minus eight is 12. So this is six and six. So green is six. And 19 was A. So 120, so this is 60 and 60. They don't tell us what one of them is. Split that up, that's 30 and 30. 30 divided by two is 15. So let's see, that was X, so X is 15. 30 divided by five is six, so star is six. So this is six and six. 15, 15, and 15. So now we need to find a, I can use a calculator here and take 60 minus 15, minus 15, minus 15, minus six, minus six. So a kite here is worth three, okay? All right, that sums it up for the first part. You have, you can come over here to, page 42 and work on your additional practice. And then we're only gonna have one quiz left and one more lesson left for the year, okay? So make sure that you're keeping up and, and getting those quizzes done and you're getting those retests done so we can get catch our grades up if need be. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out um, and I will see you in the next lesson, which is the last lesson of the year.